ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equals to AC. A circle through B touching AC at the middle point intersects AB at P. Then AP is to AB is. So I, it's, it's all about drawing the right figure, there, right? So let's first draw an isosceles triangle, right? He says ABC is an isosceles triangle. So this is A, B, C, where A, B and A, C are equal. So these two sides are equal. Now a circle through B. So a circle is drawn through B. What do you mean by circle through B? Circle through B means taking B as the center. So taking B as the center, we have drawn a circle. Touching A, C at the middle point. So whatever circle you draw, it touches A, C at the middle point. So let's say it touches A, C here, the middle point, right? And intersects AB, intersects AB at point P. So we'll have to draw the circle. I'll try my best to get a proper circle there. But if I don't, please adjust with the figure there. So this is how the circle is, right? So from point B, now don't say it is uh, a circle through B means what? Passing through B. See, I think uh, earlier I said circle through B means B as a center. No, not that. Circle passes through B, right? So it touches AC at the middle point and intersects A, B at P. It is intersecting A, B at P. So this point is P. You getting it? This point is P and this is the middle point. Let's say this middle point is Q. All right. Then A, P is to A, B. A, P is to A, B is required. Now, although the question was given with respect to a triangle, now if you see all the properties or some of the properties of circles will, uh, will come into picture here, right? If, if you look at uh, you know, this circle has an independent one, right? Let's say BPQ is a circle. Then this line APB is a secant. What is a secant? A secant is a line that cuts the circle at two points. So it cuts the circle at P, it cuts at B. And then I can say it extends. You're getting it? If I extend this line straight, right? So AB is like a secant. It touches the circle at two points. It cuts the circle at two points, P and B. And AQ is like a tangent. See, it only touches at one point. So that is a tangent. AQ is a tangent. You're able to follow. So if you if you consider AB is secant for the circle and AQ is a tangent, then one property from circles will hold true. What is that? AP into AB will be equal to AQ square. The length of the tangent square will be equal to uh, AP into AB where P and B are the two points where the secant from A cuts the circle. Now, let us see how do we solve it. See, the triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equals to AC. AB is equal to AC. So let us assume, uh, you know, let us say AB equals to AC, right? So AB equals to AC equals to, let us say, uh, X, right? X. Now, if that is the case, what will be AQ? AQ, AQ will be half of AC, which is equal to X by two. Why will it be half? Because Q is the midpoint. Remember, Q is the midpoint. That's it. Now substitute. So I can say AP into AB. What is AB? AB has been taken as X equals to AQ. AQ is X by two whole squared. Simplify. So AP will be equal to X squared by four and X gets canceled. So we'll get x by 4. On simplification, you get x by 4. You're getting it? AP will come out to be x squared by 4 by x. So x by 4. Now, what is he asking us to find out? AP by AB. So AP can be taken as x by 4. What is AB? AB has been taken as x. So x and x gets cancelled. We are left with 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is option 4. All right, option 4, 1 is to 4 is the final answer. So interesting one, a combination of triangles and circles all right d is any point on side ac of triangle abc so let's consider a triangle abc right this is a b c and he says d is any point on the side ac of the triangle abc so let's say this is the point b any point this is you can take it anywhere right you can take it closer to a closer to c wherever you want now he says uh, p q x y are the midpoints of a b b c a d and DC. Okay, so P is the midpoint of AB. So P is the midpoint of AB, exactly in the middle of AB. And Q is the midpoint of BC. Q is the midpoint of BC. And X and Y are the midpoints of AD and DC. X is the midpoint of AD, and Y is the midpoint of BC. 
Then the ratio of Px and Qy. So Px is this, right? And Qy is this. He's asking us to find this ratio. Let us connect B and D as well. Connect B and D as well. Right? Connect B and D as well. So what is the answer? What do we do? See, the point here is we know that these two are midpoints. See, P is the midpoint of AD and X is the midpoint of AD. So you look at this triangle. Triangle A, B, D. What do we get? P and X are midpoints of uh, midpoints of A, B, and A, D. Midpoints of A, B, and A, D, which implies P, X is parallel to B, D. What is this midpoint theorem? And also, Px equals to half of BD. Now, if you look at the bottom triangle, look at the triangle BDC. Here, Q and Y are midpoints. Midpoints of what? Uh, BC and DC. So we can say the line QY is again parallel to BD and also QY is half of BD. It is half of BD. Now, if you ask me how, this is based on the midpoints theorem. We have discussed this in the video. You can go through it. Right? He is asking us to find out ratio of PX and QY. PX is to QY. What is PX is to QY? PX is half of BD is to QY half of BD, which is 1 is to 1. So that's your answer. 1 is to 1, option 2.